It's a lucrative deal made between enemies. Israel appeared on the verge of signing an agreement for natural gas production off the Mediterranean coast with Lebanon, which refuses to recognize the state on its southern border. But both sides had agreed. The U.S. brokered pact is too profitable not to sign. But on Thursday, Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lapid rejected last-minute changes requested by Lebanon, sending both sides back to the negotiating table, where each has strong incentive to come to an agreement. This is a deal that strengthens Israel's security and economy. For Lapid, starting production on the Karish oil field as soon as this month would mark a much-needed economic and diplomatic victory ahead of the November 1st election and bring Israel closer to energy independence. For Lebanon, splitting revenue from the neighboring Kana gas field would mean desperately needed income for an economy so devastated that banks have closed after cash-strapped customers resorted to carrying weapons to forcibly withdraw their own money. A tremendous economic uh, uh, problem at the moment, and we want to have prosperous neighbors, not uh, neighbors on the, on the verge of bankruptcy. There is an unofficial third party in the mix, Hezbollah, the Iranian-backed group in Lebanon, whose leader has spoken favorably of the deal. That's a dramatic change from the high tensions of June, when the Israeli prime minister threatened to begin gas production without a deal, and Hezbollah sent three drones to the Karish site, all shot down by Israel, adding to a growing possibility of an armed confrontation. With production platforms sitting idly in the Mediterranean sun, Lapid has little time to forge a deal in time for it to help his chances in the November 1st Israeli election. I think it's a good chance. By the way, they've already begun drilling. The only thing to do now is to turn on the tap, turn on the spigot and let the gas roll. If the two sides can agree, that would clear the way for natural gas to start flowing from the Israeli-Lebanon border in a matter of days proving that economics could well bring a grudging cooperation where diplomacy has not. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, West Jerusalem.